You know, one of the hardest parts of dieting are those late night cravings. Christian Duke from strengthaddicts.com, joined by Hannah Deindorfer. Okay. And today we're going to talk about what to do, especially for the ladies, when it's late time, it's like, what, 10, 11 o'clock at night, yeah. you have zero chance of burning any of the calories that you eat. <laughs> but you also, I mean, I got to tell you the truth, going to sleep hungry sucks. Yeah. And actually, I can't fall asleep if I'm hungry. No, me neither. So what do you do, Hannah Dyndorfer, and what recommendations would you have for the ladies at home? And we're not just talking about the ladies that are competing or the ladies that are at the gym six days a week. We're talking about ladies in general. Yes. What's your recommendation for them at 10, 1030, hungry, and thinking, what can I eat that tastes good, mm -hmm. but that I'm not going to regret the next day in the morning? Yeah. Well, I have a sweet tooth. And I know a lot of women, especially that time of the month, like you get cravings for, for chocolate, for candy. Some women get cravings for like salty things. I know my sister does. But uh, for me, it's sweets. And so what I do when it gets late at night and I'm a little hungry, I go in the kitchen. You know, it's like 10 feet away and so convenient. But I like to keep things on hand that I know are good for me. So late night, um, if you want to do banana with peanut butter, if that's kind of your thing, that's good. Um, I really enjoy uh, Greek yogurt, and what I'll do with it is I'll mix in a little bit of protein powder and some stevia, mix it up, it turns into kind of a pudding, and then put a few chocolate chips in. And then if you use like peanut butter protein powder, it's like a peanut butter cookie basically. Um, or if you prefer like fruit, you can do uh, Greek yogurt with a little bit of, with some raspberries and some honey nice. if you want, like that's... Yeah, I gotta tell you something, like the last, I think two or three years, there's been like a Greek yogurt revolution because when I was a kid, I think Greek yogurt was like buttermilk, you know, like buttermilk yeah. in the milk aisle, it's like buried somewhere, yeah. but now everybody's doing Greek yogurt, Yeah. Uh, and it actually has twice as much protein, mm -hmm. it's, I think it's fat free. You can get fat free, yeah. yeah. And uh, the other thing that's making a, a big sort of big push is stevia, which mm -hmm. as of a few years ago, uh, the FDA would not uh, recognize it as a sugar alternative. So you could only used to be able to get it at the health food store, mm -hmm. and it was like a weird supplement. But now... It's everywhere. It's everywhere. I mean, you can go to Bigby down the road and yeah. grab a few extra stevia packets. And, exactly. Hey, late at night, put in a stevia packet with your Greek yogurt and a couple chocolate chips, and there you go. Like, awesome. And it's like you said, it's, it's, uh, it's like very a, healthy. Yeah. It, uh, and it fills you up, too. You don't get hungry like 20 minutes later if you were to sit down and eat a bag of chips or some popcorn. Or, I mean... Actually, popcorn is not that bad. It's got some fiber, right. and you know, it's what, not yeah, super Yeah, one thing about calories. popcorn, my girlfriend does, and like, uh, I think her friend Justine actually uh, did it as well. I think that's where we got it from. But um, it would use coconut oil, just a little tiny bit of coconut oil, you know, and uh, the kernels. And that said, you know, coconut oil is great because it has yeah. great poly and monounsaturated fats, and it's actually like a miracle fruit. It's a million you know, it's because it's a, uh, uh, it's carb free, it's got the best fats, I it's excellent to it. cook with, it yeah. tastes really good, yeah. you know what I mean, so, um, and with popcorn, yeah, you know, and sometimes when you're watching a movie, you know what I mean, like, you know, you what's a movie without popcorn, popcorn. exactly. Um, but uh, also another thing you can do with popcorn, if you don't even want any of the oils, you just want to air pop it, if you have those like paper lunch bags, just oh. take a paper lunch bag, fill the bottom of it with kernels, fold it over a couple times, and put it in the microwave for a minute, minute and a half, and it air pops it for you. Does that really you work? It really I'm gonna do that I really do that all the time. No way. It's because I gotta be honest with you, that, no the, uh, that store-bought crap or stuff, excuse me, uh, <laughs> like it's got that weird grit, yeah, that, yeah, that yeah, weird yeah. fake butter, like mm -hmm. that's disgusting. Like, yeah. I, mean, I have, I have actually like licked my finger and like, like tried to get it off the bag because <laughs> it like, does taste you good. You like scrape it off the yeah. sides with your finger. <laughs> I, I do, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just gross. But when you look at the ingredients, there's like, like a million different mm -hmm. things in that fake junk, whatever that is. So yeah. actually, I'm gonna do that. And maybe what you could do is you could put it in the paper bag. Like you said, and then maybe you can put some of that like fake stuff on it or whatever. Yeah. Or not, if if yeah. you want the, the if fake you want stuff. butter and salt on yeah. it, you can air pop it, yeah. and then you get to control how much butter and salt you put on it, That's rather awesome. than getting it from a bag with a hundred different awesome. ingredients. Or, so. or maybe even actually get real butter and just get a small amount, but yeah. at least you're getting like the real thing. Yeah. All right, well, awesome. So the best tips out of this were the pudding you talked about mm -hmm. and air popping in a in a brown paper bag. Yeah, I didn't even think it was possible. It's possible. I don't it's still real. totally believe you. I'm gonna try I it at home. I promise it works. Okay, cool. You promise it works. All right, awesome. So for Hannah Dyndorfer, this is Christian Duke at the amazing Michigan Barbell in Howell, Michigan.